Hello, this is Jonathan Lampel here with uh, Blender HD, and today I'm going to show you how to make stars with Blender and GIMP. Um, sometimes you can try to make them procedurally, and it just doesn't look all that great, but I'll show you how to actually paint them so you can have full control over you know, the stars' backgrounds that you can be using for animations or um, clips. And so uh, the only thing that we're going to need to do in Blender is uh, Blender just makes it really easy to make a stars kind of base. So I'm going to flip over to Blender Render, uh, Blender Internal, and I'm going to delete the default cube and delete that light because we don't need it, and all we need is the camera. So um, if we go into the world settings here, we can change the horizon color all the way to black. And uh, only in Blender Internal, we don't have this in Cycles, you can see a little option down here called stars, and you can check that up check that on and you can see in the viewport that we have stars and one thing to note is that this generally only works for still renders if you try to use this for animations you can see that if I um, select this and move it around it looks good but maybe you, you'll be able to see that sometimes they blink in and out of view like that one right there um, you can kinda see it over there on the left it's blinking in and out and that'll happen in animations so you don't really want to use this because it'll just look funny so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, first set up how large I want this so I'm going to use the render presets set it to 720p and then if I just render it out straight you can see with the stars that we have um, <clears throat> sorry I'm still kinda of getting over a cold um, so there we go they look not that good they look too kind of big and chunky and they just don't have a depth to them so what we can do is change the size I'm gonna change it to 0 0.5 uh, actually I'll go ahead and change it to 0 0.2 and if we render that again you can see that they're um, a better size maybe we might even want them a little bit smaller but they're too far apart from each other I want them a little bit more dense so I'm gonna change the separation all the way down to 5 and what that's going to do is that's just going to bring the stars in closer together. And that might be a little too much actually, so I'll just change the size to 0 0.05. Hopefully that'll work. There we go, that looks perfect. Um, one thing to note is the minimum distance, that's just the um, very minimum uh, distance the stars are from the camera. And the colors is if you just set this all, all the way to one it's a zero to one ratio and it's just how much random color is put into the stars so right now I'm just going to set that to zero and render it out and now we have our simple stars that we can now paint onto so uh, I'm going to <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna press F3 and I'm just gonna save this on my desktop as stars base and now we can hop over to GIMP you can do the exact same thing in Photoshop. In fact, it probably works better in Photoshop using different tools. But I'm just going to use GIMP because it's free for everybody to use. So you can follow along no matter what. And uh, <clears throat> and I just am more comfortable with it now that I've practiced it in GIMP. So I'm going to open. And for some reason, the new GIMP takes forever to open something. Desktop, stars, base open that up and now you can see we have our stars okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this layer to base and I'm going to duplicate it and what I'm going to do with this duplicate now is I'm going to take the clone brush here zoom in a little bit more I'm going to take the clone brush increase the size a bit and I'm going to make it a hard brush so we don't have any of the soft edges. And I'm going to press Control and just hold it over one of those. And you can see that now as we start painting, it's going to copy that area. But instead of copying it, because you can see that that'll just erase what was there and put in the new layer, um, I'm going to change the mode from normal to screen. And that's going to add it on top of the existing image. So now I can actually paint stars myself and you can you know choose whatever shape you want I'll just go for kind of a a spiral and you can press control and hit anywhere to copy that area and it's best to keep moving it around so your stars don't look uh, 
too too similar. Maybe I should have added a few more stars, but that's okay. I can increase the size, just add some more wherever I want. And you can really can go crazy with this. Uh, it's just a really nice technique. I actually learned it online, so I can't take full credit for how this works. It was for a Photoshop tutorial. Um, but yeah. So just kind of make whatever shape you want. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth because I'm sure you get the picture. And, you know, just make a nice random star field. And if you want to make like a, a picture with it, I'm sure you could go absolutely insane and just make something really, really cool. Um, but for now, that'll be a good starting spot, even though it's just a bunch of blobs. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go to my paintbrush, and I'm going to choose uh, just one of these textured brushes here. And I'm just going to paint black on top of it, uh, maybe increase the size a bit, just to give it more depth, uh, erase some of those stars, and you can do this and repeat the cloning texture as many times as you want. Um, I think my spiral is long gone, but that's okay. This should end up alright. Okay, so now we have um, our much better thing of stars, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of that kind of colory glow that you see in uh, galaxies. So I'm going to make a new layer make it transparent and I'm gonna take this brush and just kind of choose a color that I want I naturally like blues a bit better so I'm going to choose a light blue like that and I'm gonna change this mode actually I won't do that quite yet um, I'm going to start painting with a brush uh, I'm going to choose one that's fairly soft but not too uh, I don't know just something that would you would naturally think would work well with star kind of dusty shapes so if you can see that works fairly well um, so I can just go ahead and start painting kind of making the shape that I want I don't like that at all uh, let's start here kind of make a smooth curve I don't really know what I'm doing, but that's okay. Well, I know what I'm doing, but I'm just, I'm not quite sure what I'm painting. And then I'm going to make this a little bit darker just to vary the color a bit. Like that. Give it some more depth and texture. Make that a little bit darker even. And we go towards green just a tad on the tips and really this uh, technique is very cool because you can literally do whatever you want which is very very nice okay so now we have that and it looks absolutely awful but it's not going to stay like that because all we're going to do is change this mode from normal and we're going to change it to uh, overlay and what that's going to do is it's just going to color the stars behind it and you can change the opacity, so if you only want it to um, affect the stars a little bit, you can choose how much. And I think about 75 looks pretty good. And now I can duplicate this layer. I'm um, going to call this overlay. Duplicate that. And I'm going to change the mode to screen. And now I'm going to take a um, black colored brush. And just kind of go over it again and erase some of that so it just gives it more of a more of a texture to it um, I can take one of these speckly speckly whoa not like that um, let's see maybe something like that and let's see I'm gonna add some jitter to it make it a little bit more random just kind of paint over what I want and then I'm going to lower the opacity all the way down until it's barely visible. And now you have that nice kind of subtle 
um, kind of glow that you get off space dust and such. And I can go ahead and make another transparent layer and just kind of paint some more. Uh, you can do this as many times as you want. Um, the more times, probably the more depth that you're going to get in your stars. So maybe I want a little bit more light blue, actually, eh, maybe a bit of green, actually. I'm going to paint over there, turn off the jitter if you want. Just kind of mess around. Okay, and then I'll go for the black brush. And erase some of that where I don't really want it all that much. Okay, and change that to screen. And turn the opacity down, 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 down. To about there. Okay, so now I have the basics of the star layer. Um, and I think that looks fairly decent. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is... Hmm, let's see what it looks like up close. Okay, I'm going to go add, go ahead and add in a little bit more uh, dust. So, while that looks like the a nice glow, it's a bit too smooth, I think. So I'm going to add in another transparent layer. Uh, name this one Dust. I've been pretty bad at naming my layers so far, but that's okay. It's not going to get too complicated. And I'm just going to go ahead and get one of these speckled brushes. Uh, maybe, uh, that looks a bit too uniform. I'm going to go ahead and change this to turquoise like that so I can see it. Let's try now. I think that'll be good if I add some jitter. Yep. And change the size of the brush down to, uh, let's try 10. Way too small. 50. Increase the jitter. Maybe even some more. Okay, that'll be good enough. And I'm just going to go ahead and add random bits of dust. And I can, again, keep changing colors to whatever I want. The more colors just adds a little bit more depth to it. Uh, helps it make it look a little bit better. Maybe some darker blues down in here. Okay, and now I'm going to change that to screen as well. Actually, I'm sorry, maybe I didn't want screen. Maybe I wanted linear, or soft, soft light. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, soft light. And what that does is just kind of breaks up the glow. Um, if I turn this on and off, you can see kind of it's just adding a texture to it, making it look a little bit better. And you know, I could duplicate that and make that a screen as well if I wanted, and just turn the opacity down quite a bit. And it doesn't add much, but just a little bit. And so there we go. Um, so that looks all right. It's a bit crazy right now. Um, you see there's not really any structure to it, which is kind of my fault because I was just painting randomly, but it looks alright, I think. And what we can go ahead and do now is tweak the final image, and to do that we're going to adjust the colors and such, but you can see that if we go ahead and merge these down, we don't get the expected result that we want. So instead of doing that, I'm going to file and export this. And Gim takes forever to open this window. Okay, um, and I'll just call this stars. PNG export. Okay, now we're good. Uh, now I can go ahead and open that up. Let's 
and now it has combined all of the layers together exactly like we expected it to so we don't have to worry about that anymore so uh, now that we have this on just one layer I can go ahead and change the or play with the colors I can use the color ramp to adjust how how bright or how dark I want it and let's see I think that looks good and I think I want a little bit less saturation so I can go to hue saturation and lightness turn that down a bit I think that's looking better um, whoop, too far I need like a 75 percent ah perfect okay uh, now I can go to filters and I found that a little bit of let's see sharpen helps helps uh, I don't know just helps kind of bring the stars out make it look nice it gives it kind of a gritty feel which is perfectly fine for me um, whoop, whoa I don't know what happened there okay uh, let's go for uh, 25 we'll sharpen a little bit definitely helps your picture a lot but if you add too much then it totally ruins it so use it wisely okay so that's pretty subtle but I think that helped it kind of pop and I think we are almost done here one thing uh, one thing that you can do is copy this go to filter and blur Gaussian blur blur it maybe uh, let's say 10 times and turn that back to whoa oh, no, that's not what I wanted um, turn it back to screen so it just has a little bit of a glow to it and you can turn down the opacity and change the amount if you'd like but you can see that if you zoom in here that you get this nice glow around some of those stars which uh, looks pretty good I don't really like how that splatter ended up but oh well and finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, let's see take the stars base um, let's see if I merge this down is it gonna screw it up nope that looks good okay I'm gonna take these stars go to filter and blur motion blur and I'm just going to give it a little bit of motion blur um, this is definitely your choice whether you want to or not I'm going to add zoom and I don't want too much I don't want it to be like an extreme effect or anything so I'm just gonna change that to 3 hit OK and you can see with that we just get a little bit of the blur around the edges and it just gives it more depth uh, you can see that if I control Z it looks kinda of flat but then when I add the motion blur uh, for the zoom it just kinda I don't know gives it more depth and it looks pretty good so you can go ahead and use this in your still images as kind of a background play with the colors do whatever you like but it looks way 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 better than any procedural thing effect that you're going to be able to get and you have total control over what the stars look like if you want it to be shaped really cool you can do all sorts of artistic things with it and um, I'm really looking forward to see what you do with it uh, so that being said, this is pretty much the end of the tutorial. I know it was more of a GIMP tutorial than Blender tutorial, but it really um, helps a lot inside of Blender when you're when you're texturing um, like a sky for animation. You can make a really really big one of these and map it over a sphere or something. And that was pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Um, I have some pretty exciting tutorials coming up. I know you've requested a few of them, um, but the ones you ask for take a really lot of really long time to test and go through um, a few of the really cool ones are um, earthquake somebody asked me if I can make an earthquake like in 2012 and I thought that was kind of impossible but we'll see how we can get that effect and also um, like a plane explosion which sounds pretty cool so hopefully I'll get that figured out and um, if you want more tutorials, definitely subscribe, and if you like the video and learn something, then like, and I won't be offended if you dislike it, and you know what, just have a, have a great day and make some cool stars. Alright, see you later.